And the green flag's in the air. They're underway. Always loves hearing those cars zing into turn number one. It will be Corey Brown, your race leader, side by side for that second spot. Corey Brown, or Chris Vernon, excuse me, the 91. And Dusty Yeager in the 71. Vernon's going to go way off the racetrack into turn number three. Try to get past the 71 of Yeager. He'll do just that. And Corey Brown continues to lead as Jaeger once again puts the pressure on the 91 machine of Vernon. They went side by side at the apex of one and two. Driving off, it will be Chris Vernon with a slight advantage over Dusty Yeager. And that 71 is they're still side by side off of turn number four. Give the advantage now to the 71A of Jaeger. So Jaeger takes that second spot back from the 91 to Chris Vernon. Chris Vernon, though, starting to rope him in once again down the back straightaway off of two into turn number three. Vernon going to drop the nose down to the inside of the racetrack, try to find some moisture down there so we can't pull up side by side with him once again. Couldn't quite do it, though, as Jaeger's starting to pull away from the 91 of Vernon. He has his sights set in the race lead of the 29 machine of Corey Brown, trying to reel him in down the back straightaway. Right now, Brown with about an eight-car length advantage, and it's going to be Jaeger in second. Another seven-car lengths back to Chris Vernon. Third is John Foster. Fourth is the 15 machine of Scott Tupper with the rookie driver of Scott Sparling. Rounding out the field as Ryan Hennessy has taken his car off the racetrack, that yellow 12X. White flag flies this time by for Corey Brown, the 29. So Corey Brown leads him off a of turn number two, about eight car lengths to the good over the 71 of Dusty Yeager. Returns three and four, one final time. He can stretch his legs off of four. Checker flags in the air. He'll win heat race number one for the North Cars, followed by Yeager, Vernon. Coming home in that third spot, John Foster will come home in fourth. Might be a battle for the fifth position here as the 15 of Tupper washes up the racetrack. Here comes Sparling. It will be Tupper. And green flags in the air. We're underway. And one car not on the loud pedal. That is Tyler Rodriguez. So Rodriguez goes from the pole all the way back to that four spot. Now he's going to try to get back by the number 55 machine of John Levitt as they race down the back straightaway. Through turns three and four. Very close quarters racing. They're second on back as you race leader, the number 19 of Shores. He'll lead lap number one. So Shores, Hawk, Rodriguez. Now Rodriguez will go past Jim Hawk as he's got that car dialed in once again on the racetrack into turns three and four. Almost lost the car for turn number four, trying to hold off that number 19 machine of Scott Shores. Shores going to wash up the racetrack. That opens up the door for the 44 of Rodriguez. He'll get by him off of turn number two and down the back straightaway. He'll lead him into turn number three. So they're side by side for third. John Levitt and Hawk racing very hard off turn number four. Scott Shores almost made contact with the wall. So we got a three-car battle for that second spot. Three wide into turn number one. Levitt down low. Shores in the middle. Jim Hawk was up top, and he's going to be the man on the outs as John Levitt takes that second spot back away from Shores with Hawk right now in fourth. And here comes the number 98 machine of Dustin Washburn. He's going to look down the inside of Hawk. Washburn to the inside of Hawk. They were side by side for that fourth spot as it will be Hawk with a slight advantage going into turn number one. They're still side by side though, off of two. Washburn down the inside, he'll take over that fourth spot. Now he's got a, his sight set in the 19 of Shores as Rodriguez comes off of turn number four. He'll see the white flag in the air this time by with Levitt, Shores, Washburn, and Hawk, your top five. Well, Tyler Rodriguez, a little bit of a bobble at the get-go, but he drove away from the field once he took the lead back, and he'll win. Heat race number two for the Dwarf Cars as Dustin Washburn spins around for turn number four. He'll lose the spot to Jim Hawks. He can't get it refire though. Looks like it will be the Washburn going from fourth all the way to the tail end of the field as Brian Foster is able to get back by him. <laughs> 